Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. I do thank you for tuning in and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now we are going to get right back into African American poetry. Right now we are on the Black Finger by Angelina Weld Grimke during the time period of 1880 to 1958. And it goes like this. Grimke spent her early years in and around Boston. Later, she taught school in Washington, D.C., before moving to New York. There, she was admired as the author of several published poems and one successful play, Rachel, about a young woman's painful experience of racial discrimination. Her poem here is in free verse, unrhymed, and with lines of varying length, as had become common in the modern era of poetry, although it never mentions race as a topic. It perhaps links the silhouette or outline of a beautiful, dark cypress tree to the rising hopes of to the rising hopes and dreams of black people. And here's the picture. See the cypress tree. Y'all. Now let us go into the poem. Now cypress is an evergreen tree known for its dark foliage. I have just seen a beautiful thing, slim and still, against a gold, gold sky, a straight black cypress, sensitive, exquisite, a black finger pointing upwards. Why? Beautiful, still, finger, are you black? Hmm? And why are you pointing upwards? Now, I did say on this take here on Poem Praise 2 that we were going to do two poems. So let's go ahead to the next one. Exaltation is this one. And here is a picture of that one. Now, this is by May V. Cowdery during the time period of 1909 to 1953, which reads as such. Now, Cowdery was born in Philadelphia, where she lived before moving to New York. While she did not publish a book of poems, her writing was admired by some of the best artists of the Harlem Renaissance. Like Angelina Weld Grimke's The Black Theme Girl, Cowardy's Exaltation is written in free verse and does not overly mention race. The speaker of the poem reminds us that both the day and the night are beautiful and that we should celebrate them equally despite their differences. O day with sun glowing gold pouring through a scarlet rustling tree. O night with Stars burning, fire falling, into a dark and whispering sea. Now that does complete the two poems I have for you today of our African American poetry here on Poem Praise 
too. I do want you to be blessed, be well, take care, and until next time, I will speak with you soon, it be at thy will, here on Poem Praise 2. All right. Later, y'all.